So stasis it's been plague in PvP specifically in Destiny 2 to the point where I honestly think it was unplayable for many different reasons and you throw that on top of all the other issues that you have with content updates and other stuff with PvP wow it was a bad state but how does this nerf fare a couple weeks out from its initial release does the issue fix is it a much better time can I uh, can I play sh you know PvP and not be angry at the time well Today, we're going to be talking about that, and right off the bat, I'll tell you guys, this nerf is pretty damn good. It made PvP, in my opinion, a very well-played mode. Like, you can play it for a good amount of time, at least I can, and not just not be angry, because before, I was so goddamn angry. I was so pissed every time I got frozen. It's like forbidden in shooters. Don't freeze me, don't slow me down, unless you're a hero shooter where, like, it's kind of locked one per team that has that ability, but I digress. It, it was very annoying, and... Bungie couldn't do much. They either had to rework the whole fucking thing, they either ban it, or they did here. They had three options. And in my opinion, I think they did a really, a really well thought out nerf to Stasis itself. Now, it's still gonna be annoying when you do get frozen, but I have noticed that over the couple weeks, I haven't been frozen that much. I've been actually just, you know, playing the game. It feels like it was in a similar state as it was when we first, before, well, before uh, Beyond Light. Again, when we first got Beyond Light, the sandbox was great, but Stasis was fucking ruining it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it feels nice. I'm playing it. I'm not miserable. I'm not angry. They really worked out and really brought down, I guess you could say, the pick rates to these subclasses that are offered for the darkness, which right now, specifically, stasis hopefully if they do have any future darkness based subclasses which i do expect it's not stasis and it's not frozen or you know freezing you because that would be very upsetting you know the darkness has to have some ability besides just freezing so let's see which queen you know lightfall beyond let's see what is offered in that regard but as it stands now with stasis pretty good i'm actually enjoying not getting fucked over with it like behemoth titan i use that it's uh it's I guess you could say it's okay, but there's much better options. Thunder Crash is my go-to right now. I've always loved it. I mean, I might even use the shield, Voidwalker shield for Titan as well. I was having a very good time with that, even when Stasis was dominant. And obviously, you know, solar, hammers, throwing, you know, what's not there to love. So again, there's many different options I have. And I don't feel like I'm, you know, condensed to using stasis. Now, one thing is to mention is that it doesn't mean stasis is completely out the game from what i noticed over the past weeks is that revenant or the hunter su uh stasis subclass has been used a good bit now it's not as frequent you might run into one and two and even then that super itself is effective but not as powerful as it used to be now if you're on objective playing control you might get a little frustrated with it with the you know super cast and the you know the sickles coming at you but besides that you know the shuriken doesn't really do much uh the shiver obviously doesn't do much i haven't ran into that problem it's a very decent thing to go against. It doesn't piss me off. And I'm actually really impressed. Uh, Stasis is pretty balanced now. And it's kind of, in my opinion, it's not meta, which I think is a great thing. Now, making everything balanced, it doesn't suit that because it's not good and it's not balanced. But how do you balance freezing stuff? It's a complicated topic. But as it stands now, I'm happy with where Stasis is at. I don't really care if I'd never use it again. So that's just my opinion on that now. Does this fix the overall arcing, you know, problems with PvP? No. I mean, it's definitely in a playable state, but if you still have issues with the sandbox, do you have issues with the fact that Bungie has yet to, you know, add a new map after what, like 600 days it is now and counting? Then yeah, it isn't gonna, you know, solve those issues or address those issues. You're still gonna have no maps, very little maps to play on. And if you don't like certain things in the sandbox, yeah, you're gonna deal with that problem as well. But in general guys if stasis has been your main concern for pvp i will tell you this the state it's in now pvp is playable you're not going to run into as many stasis users it's not how you picked anymore it's not as effective as it used to be it, it can still annoy you don't get me wrong it can still annoy you when it does happen to you but you're not going to be annoyed literally every five seconds playing a crucible match so with that being said there's other problems cheaters trials sucking iron banner not getting you know changes no new maps there's a plenty of other issues with pvp but when it comes to just playing the mode itself and can you have a good time yes you can stasis cross that off your list it's not broken anymore but yeah with that being said all i gotta say in the matter stasis has been nerfed applaud bungie for that now let's fix the other glaring issues with pvp 
But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, like what I said, definitely drop this video a like. If you got a comment, thinking, uh, bringing your thoughts to Stasis, whether they nerfed it, not nerfed it, your thoughts on the matter, definitely leave a comment. We can have a discussion. And if you guys are new here and want more Destiny 2 content from me, whether it's, you know, gameplays, news, reviews, discussions like this, hit that subscribe button as well. Subscribe if you guys are into games like Call of Duty Warzone, Battlefield 2042, and Halo Infinite. We are going to be covering those games on the channel. So if you guys like those games too, well, there you go. You got more reason to subscribe to the channel. So that being said, that's all I got for this one. Shout out to you here, and I'm out.